and making it possible for us to watch matches like this one between the seventh seed Gail Crevo and the second seed Dimitro Ratchov. Two excellent world-class archers taking center stage. Crevo will be on the left on target number one and the Ukrainian archer will be on the right on target number two as the rain continues to fall in Tokyo, but that doesn't seem to phase the fans at all. And we'll find out if it phases either one of these gentlemen. They're both very mentally tough and strong. I doubt that it will. Absolutely, and even I was, when I was talking to Provo, he said uh, it wasn't looking like he was coming to the final. He'd worked out that at the beginning of his week in Ogden, he hadn't had the, the best season. And when he looked back, he realized he needed, he must get a medal if he wants to make it to the final. And uh, he worked that all out beforehand, which a lot of athletes wouldn't necessarily do. So he, he knew he needed a result. And uh, at the end of Ogden, he walked away with that bronze medal. And that was, uh, that got him his ticket to Tokyo. So he certainly delivered under pressure in that circumstance. He did. Defeated Tarundeep Rai of India to claim the berth in these finals. Pick up that bronze medal to go along with the silver medal that he won at stage one in Shanghai way, way back in April. So Prevost comes in, seated seventh. He's actually 11th in the world rankings. And he is taking on Dimitro Rachov, who is sixth in the world. He's been ranked as high as third in the world. Finished 17th in London and was on the Ukrainian men's team that finished fifth at the Olympics to just be on the reach of a bronze medal. Mm. I think a lot of people thought they had a, they definitely, they definitely did have medal potential, but uh, there's no guarantees in this sport. So the six foot four Frenchman steps up to the shooting line. Draws it back. And this match is underway with a 10. Excellent start. Prevo making a statement on his first shot. But Dimitro Rachov, a very experienced archer, has been on the international scene for quite some time. And comes back with a 9. Ten, nine points. Nine for Prevo. And outside the nine ring. Good grouping, but uh, not in the right location. Excellent set, and Prevo will take this set and take the two points to go with it. It's a smile from the coach, and rightly so. 29 is a, a great way to start any match. Well, even though the set's gone, finishing with a 10, that'll give him a bit of reassurance that going into the next end, he's got his sights set. Provides a little bit of momentum for Dimitro Rachov. It does, it does. But there's a good look at the teenager from France, Gail Prevost, with a 10, 9, and 10, coming out of the gates very strong to start this quarterfinal match. Of course, last year. At the World Cup Finals, Prevost finished fourth in Istanbul. Still very, very young, with a lot of yeah. archery ahead of him. I'm sure, I'm sure he's a name that's uh, going to continue to be up, up on scoreboards for uh, a long time to come. And of course in London, handled himself well. Finished very respectable ninth place in the individual competition in recurve. So he told me he was thoroughly disappointed with that, which <laughs> I'm sure for him is disappointing. And then when I looked at the results, I thought, well, it wasn't that disappointing. I mean, it was a good, I know it's, ten, it's, it's a tease when you get so close, I guess. Sure, but he was in the top 10, and here's a man who is in the 10 ring, Dimitro Rachov, starting off strong here in the second set. Of course, he trails in the match two to nothing, trying to get back into it by winning this set. But Gail Prevost does not seem to want to cooperate. He doesn't. He's looking in great form. Really great execution. Well, both these athletes, actually. Nine. 
Talk about the grouping. <coughs> Great grouping. That's why I'll take the rain over the wind any day. You can still shoot tens in the rain. It's just a few more challenges. Not that these challenges are causing any issues here. Both of these gentlemen have it dialed in. And Dimitro drills a nine. So normally you'd think a 29 was a good end and you're going to take victory, but that's not the case here, possibly. Can't relax until he sees the score here, and it is a nine, so they tie in the set. They'll split the points. Damage limitation. Good way to look at it. <laughs> you got to look for that uh, silver lining in the clouds, right? Getting the points is a whole lot better than losing them. <laughs> so one point to Gael Prevo. He now has three in the match. And Dimitro Rachov picks up his first point and trails three to one at this point in the match. Rachov, of course, a lot of Olympic experience. Won a team bronze medal at the 28th Olympiad in Athens seven years ago. Well, actually, eight years ago, if I do the math correctly. So there you see the scores. Prevo with the two-point lead. But once again, we are in the set system. So should Rachov come back and win this next set, we'll be all tied up at three apiece. No need to panic. Maybe one of these matches today will deliver us our one-hour shoot-off. We shall see. You attack, nine points. Hey, that's He's got quite a stare there, hasn't he? He's wide-eyed and Two seeking ten. out the ten. Yeah, Intent Super. on the ten. And Prevo putting on a show right now. Takes the one-point lead in this set. Now Rachov with another nine. Nines are fine as long as your opponent is not shooting bullseyes. <laughs> yeah. But yourself, if you feel like you're doing good shots, you just have to keep going and hope they'll find the tenth. There's no point beating yourself up just because your opponent's on a roll. Sometimes things are out of your control. Rachov finishes with 999 in the set at 27. So right now, all Prevo needs is an 8 to tie, a 9 to win the set, and pick up two more points. Look at the concentration. Focused, he comes up with a 9, and he wins the set and picks up two more points. Fantastic. So a commanding lead right now for the young Frenchman as he jumps out to a 5-1 advantage. However, I'll caution everybody who is watching at home. We have seen on many occasions an archer fall behind 5-1 and able to battle back and tie it up. We have. I've been in that win. situation myself. Sadly, I was the one who was 5-1 up and then I ended up going out. So. Is there a tendency when somebody gets in this position, say like Gail Prevo or yourself, to relax just a little bit? If we, if we, if everything goes to plan, no, because every time we stand on the line, we're just trying to do the same shot. We're trying to do it the best we can, and we're trying to follow our mental sequence. That's if we were all perfectly programmed robots and not. <laughs> you take the human element out of it. Humans, uh, so, and it's not the relaxing; it's the fact that. Because it's almost within grasp, you can you can see the finishing line, and you just want to reach out and touch it, and that's when you start thinking about outcome. You start thinking about your opponent, and that's when things normally start to go wrong because you stop thinking about what you need to think about, which, which is, is the shot, the shot, not the last one, not the next one, this shot now. An excellent shot by Dimitro Rachov, and an even better yeah. one by Gail Prevo. Pure class.
Five seconds to go, and he lets it fly, and it's an eight. Held it a little bit long. He is today. He's looking a little bit slow. Whereas Gail is... So he comes into his face really smooth. That's definitely the way I describe him. And great execution. Really snappy, really fast. So right now, Prevost is in great position to take this set and win the match. Leading 19-18 on what could be the final shot of the match. And in all likelihood, it is as he scores an eight. The type of finish he was looking for. Just slowly brings his elbow round. Just needs an eight, gets a nine. A good one at that. So an excellent shot by Gail Prevost, who goes 10, 9, and 9 in this fourth and what turns out to be deciding set. And Gail Prevost coming over to exchange, exchange handshakes with Dmitry Rorachov, who's got to be disappointed. He will be. He knows he can do better than that, and I'm sure... Next year, he'll be back on the circuit, and he will be doing better than that. Ranchoff has been competing on the tour since 2007. Did win a silver medal, which probably was his high point this year, and that was at stage one in Shanghai, our very first event. Great start to the year. Did have a great start. Didn't finish the way he wanted it to, but Dimitro Ranchoff, very strong competitor, and we'll see him back in 2013, I'm sure, on the World Cup circuit. And we will see more of this young man later today in the semifinals. Here at the World Cup Finals in Tokyo, great performance by Gail Prevo, a commanding, overpowering performance as he wins the match after just four sets by the score of seven to one. So Gail Prevo moves on. And we'll wait to see who his opponent will be in the semifinals.